good morning this is the first of many of my uh i guess what will be called my uh car chronicles videos i think that's what i'm gonna call them so two things really quick i'm on the move a lot guys so but really i just can't see myself sitting down in my house vlogging because i have too many other things i could be doing other than sitting down vlogging but if i'm in the car i'm big on the dashboard <laughs> but if i'm in the car there's no issue and vlog in the car so one two this pillow you see behind my back like i'm not that bougie or crazy um i have a really bad back like a really bad back i get steroid shots in my back like Sometimes I can go two weeks without getting them. Um, I think the longest I've ever gone is like three weeks to a month. But um, they're pretty good. This video is about the fact that I was born angry. <laughs> like, and not like on some play play stuff. Like, real life, I already think I was born angry. Like, um, so if you ask my mom about the day I was born, She'll tell you. I think she was in she went in labor in church because I was born on a Easter on Easter Sunday. And like when I was born, I wasn't making any noise. Like I wasn't crying at all. And so of course they thought something was wrong. So you know, like the doctor like you know, specs the baby on the butt. I don't know if doctors still do that. But in 94 they did. Like, you know, spank the baby on the butt, like trying to make me cry. And he had like hit me apparently like two or three times and I just didn't cry. Like just did not cry. And um, my mom was like, at, at some point she was like, okay, like that's enough, stop hitting my baby because I was breathing and I actually like, my eyes were open. So if you ever like had a baby or you've seen a newborn baby, like their eyes aren't open, <laughs> like not really. Their eyes are closed, they don't open their eyes. My eyes were open and I was breathing. My heart was beating, they were just like, okay, why does the baby not make any noise? And so my mom was like, the doctor hit me like a fourth time or he hit me like the last time or whatever. And she was like, I was in his hand. And I just turned around and looked at him like, like she swears. Like I just looked at him like, what the fuck are you doing? And she was just like, oh my God, like what, what is this that just came out of me? <laughs> and she was like, I was just like that my whole life. Like I just didn't like being bothered. I was like super independent. I always slept in my own crib, like whatever. And it's like super, it's a super funny story to tell. But all jokes aside, I really felt like I was angry my whole life. Like, I don't know why I was so mad at the world or what I was mad at. Like, I really don't know. But, and it wasn't that, like, I was walking around mad. I just, like, my zero to 100 feet. Like, I would be fine or normal or what I consider to be normal. But if somebody were to do something to me, I did not have, um, up until, like, the last, like, maybe three or four years like a rationale like okay yes somebody did something to you but that does not warrant you acting this way so if somebody did something that was like a so let's say your anger exists on a level of one to ten i had no way of um figuring out that okay what they did to you was on a level two so you can eat it would make more sense to just able just give them no response just don't say anything or do anything i whatever 10 was and that spectrum or category of whatever happened that was my response and i would justify it by saying well i wouldn't have done anything to me if they didn't do any i wouldn't done anything to them because they didn't if they didn't do anything to me like i was never an attacker but i'm very much so like responsive and I think when you're a kid it's not that big of a deal or it doesn't seem like it is when you're an adult you start having like stuff to lose it becomes a big deal so I didn't realize I was that way until I was like 20 years old I didn't think nothing was wrong with me. I thought I was perfectly fine. I thought something was wrong with everybody else, which took, it kind of still is. But 
I think it stemmed from the fact that my mom is like an angel. She is so nice. Like, people really can't believe that she's my mom because she's nothing like me. We are like polar opposites. And I think she struggled with that too. Like, just having a daughter that was like, not like her at all. Um, and I think that watching her be so nice and you know just situations were happening I would just feel like people were just I just I always felt like people got over on her because she wouldn't do anything like back to them or say anything or whatever and I know now that that was that was her form of strength that it takes a lot more strength to not say anything and not be crazy and not be violent than it does to want to choke people out so I think that that's one of the things and then I don't know what it is but I kind of have these like triggers and if you suffer with like any type of like anger anxiety depression whatever you have to sit down and figure out or take note of what triggers you because you have to avoid those things because sometimes you might snap out of it and sometimes you don't my biggest fear is that I will become enraged and then do something that I can't take back so one being any type of like betrayal like and you don't have to like actually betray me I just have to be convinced that you betray me so if I tell you something and I feel like you told somebody else or like I kind of have this thing of feeling like nobody's on my side you know like if I'm almost, it's, and it's kind of the disgusting because it's almost like you can't disagree with me or something because you disagree with me. I'll be like, well, you don't have, you're not, ha you don't have, you're not on my side. Like you don't agree, but that's, I, that's not okay to be like that. Like it's okay for a person to not to disagree with me. I disagree with everybody. That's one. So like betrayal is a big thing for me. Like me feeling like you don't have my back or we're not on the same team is a big like no no for me so then number two for me is my family you cannot say think feel breathe anything about my family members like I am a lioness I almost think I'm supposed to be a man at some point because I'm so aggressive and overly protective of my family like I really don't those are really the only two things like that's the only thing that that really gets me in in that space and the reason why I say that it's dangerous is because when I get in that space I become less intelligent like I don't want to say that I'm stupid or dumb but I'm not as wise as I am when I'm not enraged like I will do things that do not make sense it's like I'm when I get in that space it's almost as if like I'm just like a a functioning alcoholic and the biggest change that existed in my life was me actually going to therapy and it's like um it's kind of taboo in my culture to go to therapy but I actually had two different therapists I had a therapist and a psychiatrist they're not the same thing if I'm not mistaken but they're not and what my therapist insisted that I do was go through a phase of God, I can't remember the name of it like trauma counseling like basically the same thing that you would do if you were like attacked or something like that because what we were trying to get to was the root of why I felt so angry because it was like she was like you're not angry it's like an anxious thing so like if you get up in the street one day you're probably gonna be kind of like you know jumpy or anxious if you have to go out you know into public and so what she explained to me was that my reactions had to have stemmed from something that happened to me when I was younger like there was obviously an instance that occurred when I was younger and then I was walking around the rest of my life anxious so my jumping to the jumping to 10 was anxiety getting to me like I was walking around anxious all the time waiting for somebody to do something to me so the littlest thing that happened 
took me back to whatever place it was early in my life that I obviously felt attacked or triggered or whatever may be that um, caused me to be that way. And when she said that, I was like, what? Like, I, I, I don't think I went through nothing like that, you know? But throughout the course of the therapy, we did identify what the issue was. But I would have never known if I didn't not if I didn't have like that willingness to start that process. 